Hi, welcome to Grill Girl. I'm Robin Lindars. Today we're making cilantro lime beef satay on the Home Door Tandoori Grill. Then we're gonna pair that with some homemade naan and an easy to make cilantro lime dipping sauce for a fun East Asian inspired dish. One of my favorite flavor combinations is cilantro and lime. Paired with a traditional Asian base of soy sauce, fish sauce, and garlic, this marinade really packs in the flavor, while the lime juice also helps tenderize the meat. Add in two additional tablespoons of lime zest, and this marinade is full of cilantro lime goodness. To make our marinade, we're gonna start with these ingredients. One third cup of soy sauce, a fourth cup of chopped cilantro, Mmm. Two heaping tablespoons of lime zest. The juice of one lime, or about a tablespoon. Four teaspoons of fish sauce. Now here's a little info on fish sauce. You don't really want to know what goes in it, and you don't want to smell it too hard because it can be a little pungent, but it's a staple in Asian food, and it really adds what's called umami, or savoriness, to your recipes. One and a half teaspoons of brown sugar. Three cloves of garlic. Can't get enough garlic. One teaspoon of canola oil. And last but not least, half a jalapeno. If you don't like spice, you can omit the jalapeno altogether or take the seeds out because that's where all the heat comes from. Now we're gonna grind this up in the food processor until we have a uniform consistency. That smells good. All right, let's test this baby out. Oh my gosh, perfect. I'm gonna get our meat and throw it in this mixture and let it marinate for four hours in the refrigerator. And then we're gonna throw it on skewers and head out to the grill. So our meat's been in the refrigerator marinating for four hours. So I'm gonna pull it out so we can get started on our skewers. So satay is just another word for marinated meat on a stick. And that's exactly what we're doing. So we're gonna take our meat pieces, and this is sirloin, and just thread them on the skewer like you would thread a needle. Ah, oh, smells amazing. Anything with lime juice and cilantro and I'm sold. I'm gonna finish it with a piece of onion. Look at this beautiful piece of meat. The only thing that's gonna make this better is adding some smoke and char from the grill. So let's go throw these babies on. Today we're grilling on the home door tandoori style grill. This style of grilling is prevalent in India and it's really gaining popularity in the US. What's so cool about this grill is that it heats up to about 650 degrees and cooks convection style on its clay walls. We're gonna do skewers that are gonna cook evenly because this is cooking convection style which allows the air to circulate and lock in the moisture and flavor of our kebabs. Some of the highlights of the home door grill include vertical convection style cooking, easy cleanup, there's no grill to clean, just the skewers. It's also great for American classics like baked potatoes, hot dogs, and corn on the cob. It's extremely versatile. It's also a healthy way of cooking. It's a really fun way to throw a party and have a fun time in your backyard with your friends and family. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful pieces of meat. We're gonna let these rest and tent them for 10 minutes so the juices can redistribute themselves. And then we're gonna go work on our naan and we'll pull it all together. So next we're gonna grill our naan that goes with our satay. Naan is an Indian flatbread. What's so cool about the home door is that you can grill the naan on the side of its clay walls. A simple naan recipe consists of flour, water, yeast, and yogurt. And the full recipe and directions can be found by going to my site, grillgirl.com. 
Now we're gonna get ready to grill our naan, but first we need to cool our grill down to 450 degrees. I'm gonna do that by shutting off the top and the bottom air vents to the grill to kill our oxygen supply. Now I've taken our naan dough and I've put it in fist-sized pieces that I'm going to throw onto the side of the clay walls and let it cook for three to four minutes until it's brown and bubbly. Now we're gonna serve our beef with our naan and a sour cream cilantro lime juice dipping sauce. Put it all together with some arugula and diced tomatoes. Today we've stamped our cooking passport with an East Asian inspired dish cooked on the home door tandoori grill. Now how was that for grilling fusion? Thanks for tuning in with me, Grill Girl Robin Lindars. Look forward to our next adventure together.